again, avenues to victory, big punchers, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, yeah. um, kind of a little bit of an easier fight than maybe a lot of folks thought. Tank Davis over Ryan Garcia uh, in the sixth round, on the seventh round with the body shot. Ryan Garcia subsequently just news broke yesterday. He's now training with Earl Spence Jr.'s trainer, former trainer of the year, Derek James. Yes. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a good move. You know, real good trainer and um, surrounded himself around, you know, really, really good fighters. I think the, the thing from looking on the outside and you see from a lot of guys that I've worked with, Ryan Garcia, and I personally know him, I, I like the kid. You know, I wish him all the best. Um, I just feel he's very distracted. He's very, uh, he loses that focus and he probably could say the same thing, but a guy like uh, Derek James and the guys that are around, you know, the, the, the gym there that they have um, will bring out probably the best out of him. Now, let's see what he does at 140. I don't think he's coming back down to 135, but let's see what he does. You know, especially from, from a loss like he had, you know, we all saw it. He took a great body shot. Don't get me wrong, it was a very good body shot. Uh, I think every fighter's copped a, a body shot like that and been heard and felt it, but could he have got up? You know, that's the question that he's got to ask himself. So these are the next few months that he's going to be able to, you know, can he do it? Can he get back? Can he do uh, achieve things in boxing? Again, he hasn't won a world title, so I'm sure that's on his mind, and um, we'll see. Well, Ryan Garcia campaign at 140. Another fighter who just claimed gold at 140, an interim title, Rolly Romero. What did you think about the fight? Rolly Romero, Rosos the other night. Um, what did you think about the stoppage? Did you see my tweet? <laughs> I did not. I didn't. A lot of, it created a lot of hype, man. Um, it's not Rolly's fault. You know, it's not his fault, but, you know. Like I said, Ismael Barrasso is my new favorite fighter. I don't care if he's 63, 75, however old he is. Um, he's my new favorite fighter. Don't even try to change my mind. That was, yeah, that was sad, that was sad because, uh, look, Rolly was coming on, don't get me wrong, he was coming on, he was... Right, do you think stunning. he might have been robbed of an opportunity to I, be great? I, I feel so, I feel that he was, uh, no, look, I feel that the opportunity was, was missed on both sides. You know, Barrasso was up ahead, if he could have lasted the whole way, uh, without getting, you know, stopped or knocked down again, probably would have won on points. And then again, Rolly was coming on as well, so he could have got that, that nice dramatic finish, but um, both of them were, were robbed to a point. But again, you gotta go with the whole boxing world and what we saw. Um, the fight was very was stopped very prematurely. Um, that's the fight game. If if he's a if he's a true true fighter, he'll give him another shot and at least you know make a make a statement on that fight. But at least give that that that, that old man you know a, a, another you know payday at least. Next month, Tiafimo Lopez, Josh Taylor coming back to the ring, uh, fighting in New York. What do you think about that bout? How did they get together? How did their styles contrast? It's a really good fight, really interesting fight. Um, obviously, I know Teo better than, than, than most. Uh, that's a guy that I can't give keys because I did beat him. Um, Taylor is very good too, though, and he's got a lot to, to prove as well, uh, coming off the casual fight. But so does Lopez. We've seen that he has not looked well since you know I did the damage on him. So it's a very interesting fight. Um, Josh is a naturally 140 pounder. You know, he boxes well. He's very good to the body. Um, you you got to go with Josh Taylor. You got to give him the edge. But again, you can't uh, rule out TV Malovans. We saw what he did to, to Lomachenko and all these guys before. You know, I put a stop to him. What do you think, particularly? I mean, and there's and there's been a lot of talk about the difference in TV Lopez. Uh, you knew him before the so-called damage or the damage that you put on him, and afterward, what do you think? What can you see that has changed in him? It's confidence, that confidence is not, not there anymore. Um, you know, when you take a, a damaging fight, well, we both took damage in that fight. Um, we're never gonna come out of that fight the same person we walked in as, but I came out the winner and I moved on to what I had to move on to. Uh, he came out losing that fight, but the way he lost it as well, he got damaged in that fight. So a lot of people say it's damaged goods. A lot of people will say that, um, you know, it, it styles make fights. The guys that he, the two guys that he have fought, that he's got victories after my fight, um, have been awkward guys. We'll see against Josh Taylor. It's an interesting fight, and um, you know I'll be watching and then see who, who wins that fight. But again, you, Josh Taylor is, is a very good 140 pounder. He's been there a long time. How interested would you be in seeing the winner of yeah. that fight go up against Regis Progray, the WBC 140 pound champion? Yeah, I, I like Regis a lot. He was um, going to fight one of one of the Aussies. Uh, Liam Parra 
you know, really good fighter too, coming from, from Australia, done some really good things, and this was his opportunity, unfortunately. Um, he got a serious injury, so he's had to pull out of that fight. But again, Regis is a very good fighter. And I very, he's got very it. dangerous, and um, you know, we'll see. The best got to fight the best. Like I've been saying, like, like I feel I started a lot of this. You know, I fought the, the best of the best and chased the hardest fights. And um, that's what we've got to see. You know, the boxing fans got to understand that. The boxing fans got to say, you know what? Who cares about this zero? Um, let's see the best fight and the, fight and the best styles make fights. And you don't know what way this, this fight game turns around. And you talked about not afraid to lose the zero. Mm -hmm. Going back to earlier in our conversation about Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Having been through it yourself, what advice would you give a fighter like Ryan? Uh, in regards to losing your O and making a comeback. Mm. Yeah, who cares, man? Who cares about the O? Who cares? He, he, look, at the end of the day, he pushed hard for that tank fight. And obviously, they both got to be commended and, and, and respected for making that big, big fight happen. Um, you know, the, the, the world was watching. The world stopped to see that fight, and, and I was very excited for it as well. Um, so look, he's got to take that into, into aspect and say, you know what, I made this big fight you know, possible. And uh, move on. You know, he didn't lose to a, to a Joe Blow. He didn't lose to, you know, the, a random guy. You know, like myself, I only lost to, to Devin Haney. You know, he lost to Javante Davis, who's a, who's a very good fighter himself. So uh, he'll be back. He's got good people around him, like we said. And as long as he can keep his focus and discipline and uh, be true to the game, then you know, he can move back and, and do what you want to do. Like myself, I'm true to this game. I'm very disciplined, like I was just saying you before. Um, I'm very fortunate to make a lot of money in this sport. But I don't, I don't have to fight, I want to fight, I love to fight. You know, I live this lifestyle every day. Discipline is, is the most important thing and that's what, what a warrior, warrior like myself you know, takes into to everyday life. You know, regardless if I'm in the ring or I'm outside of the ring or I'm here in Las Vegas or I'm on the aeroplane coming here, I'm still being disciplined. I don't even touch plain food. Um, I bring my own food, I pack my own, my own meals. You know, to be that disciplined in this game. And, you know, I'm at the point now where I'm coming back, Cambosis is back. So I'm the big deal now with, with top rank and obviously with Bella. And uh, Bruce is back. What are you looking for? Uh, you it's going to be announced very soon. It's, it's, it's done. It's done. Oh. Uh, it's a very good fight. <laughs> and uh, it's a great fight for me to bounce back um, on, on, a great, on a great platform, you know, back here in America. This is where I won it all. This is where I made my name. And, um, a little sneak, you know, peek, sneak peek about the time frame? Uh, we're looking in, in within 10 weeks. Yeah, within 10 oh, weeks. Oh, wow. So, yeah, big fight, headline. Um, very excited. And then we're looking forward to, to making noise and moving on to the big names as well. But I'm very focused on this particular guy.